In this lab, I want to talk about analyzing a Windows computer settings with the computer uh, configuration and analysis console and templates. And so what I want you to do is I want you to click on Start, Run, and I want you to type in Microsoft Management Console or MMC.exe, click on OK, and a blank console will come up. And we're going to select File, Add, Remove, Snap In. We're going to scroll down until we see security, configuration, and analysis. We're going to select add, and we're going to select security templates, select add, and you'll see that they both appear as sub-objects under the console root object. And we'll click, select OK, give ourselves a little room so we can see, and you can see by default <clears throat> the security templates is located in users, administrator, document, security, templates. Well, since this is tied to all, all administrators using this account, that's not really what you'd have in a corporate environment. Each administrator would have their own administrative account for auditing purposes. So we're going to add in a new template search path. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the location on the hard drive where the templates are kept. And that's under the C drive, under Windows. We'll scroll down until we see Security select security and then there's the templates directory and we'll select OK and you notice you have Windows security templates directory and there is one template in that directory uh, DC security in older versions of Windows there was actually a larger variety of templates in this case you'll need to add in your templates the approved templates to use or something that you've done in a test environment or you could download the ones from the National Institute of Standards and Technology uh, they also provide templates and there's several other places on the internet where you can actually get a template a predefined template rather than creating your own I recommend both one creating your own the first time and then also looking at the pre-configured ones uh, this one Windows security templates DC security this is a completely blank template and just to show you audit policy it's set to not defined user write assignments none of this is set to defined security options not defined okay so even though we have a template there's really nothing in it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna select security configuration and analysis we're gonna select the root here and we basically have our directions provided for us open an existing database or create a new database if we select um, if you just read here right click security configuration analysis open database that's the same for both options except if you want a new database you have to select new database name and then select open select a security template to import and then select OK which is what we're going to do so we right click security configuration analysis we select open database and we'll type in new template and we'll select OK and then we also uh, need to look at the name of the template and you notice both if I should have showed you last time but uh, both settings were set to the default under this administrator's account but we need to go to the C drive Windows security templates and you will see that DC security is right here we'll go ahead and select open and then it says ah here we go all right, so now that we've matched this new template, this new template database, um, you can configure your, com your computer or analyze your computer. Now, in my opinion, this is a little backwards. I would analyze your computer first, see what the settings are, if you agree with them, and then configure them. But if you do this all the time and you know what you want to configure, this does become the, the default option. But in this case, we're going to do it the first time, and we don't have any other templates, or I haven't done this many times in the past. So for this lab, we're going to use Analyze first, but in a production environment, you're likely to use Configure first. So we're going to right-click, and you'll see we have a couple options. You have Open Databases, which we just done. We have Analyze, which is the second setting, or Configure, which is the first setting. Or you can import a template if you like, and you could go to whatever directory you installed them in. We covered that in identifying this directory here and this one here as well. So we're going to analyze the computer now, and it says, hey, where do you want to put the error log path file? And the default is into this administrator's 
a home directory under the documents, security logs, and then new template. It is just a log file. Again, I would recommend putting this into a place where all administrators can um, can get this. So that location would be C, C Drive, Windows, Security, and then the Templates folder. And we can just call this, you know, new template log file and then select open okay and then you just select one okay and it'll go through and it will analyze the system security it may take a second the more options there you go alright so now that we've got our computer analyzed and now we get the results here of the comparison of what was in the template versus the settings on this computer and again it does not matter if this is a Windows XP uh, machine any operating system by Microsoft there's a template for it or you could create a template for it uh, so in this case we'll go to the audit policy which is where I showed you before where I showed you the database setting was not defined versus this computer setting which is the comparison of the template to the computer all right, also use a write assignment. You can see the database setting is not defined, and then the computer setting, uh, how that would compare. Now, what is different than what you'd see here is normally the database would have settings, whether it be a secure domain controller, or a high secure domain controller, a regular domain controller, a member server, whatever the role is, whatever the template is that was in the database, that's what you would have defined. You can also create your own database. And then, no matter what computer you're analyzing, uh, the, these would be the settings here. Okay? So all of those are set. And you can double click these if you like, and you can say, hey, you know what? I disagree between the computer setting and the database setting, so let's go ahead and define these. Let's define administrators. Let's give these people permissions in the database and go ahead and click on OK. And then you can change your database settings here. Okay? Now, let's say you get your database settings, you know, to the the ideal setting, whatever you know is going to be the final build of the server. Well, then you come back to security configuration and analysis and you configure the computer now. And it'll say, "Hey, where do you want where do you want the log files to be stored?" just like it did when we analyzed it and we select on OK and then it'll go ahead and configure the, uh, the computer accordingly. I'm not going to do that here because really I have a database setting of nothing so it does not going to make sense but that's how you would do it if you were to do it and that will effectively take a database setting and apply it to the computer and of course you could go in and check each setting just to make the uh, make sure that the database setting applied however the, the answer to that is in the log files if you go to your log files you can you can see what they are also at the root of the console you have a quick summary of it and you can see what was not configured if something was changed and you can go through and scroll down all of the log files and you can really see everything that was set and how it was set so reading the configuration all the way through the log files which is very 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 detailed each of the registry settings whatever the database setting was you can scroll all the way down and view that and it looks like there was a couple access denied here uh, uninitialized analysis engine apparently you couldn't do that so you may want to check that out but again this is a test environment and that's it that's how you analyze a computer using the security configuration and analysis console in this case we analyzed a domain controller